Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. Uh, hello folks, this is uh, Chris, camera 4 ckp We're out here right now at the abandoned repeater site, and uh, I don't mind telling you folks, it's a bit creepy out here. Uh, there's trash everywhere. It's uh, it's overgrown. I don't know how long it's been since uh, anybody may have set foot out here, but we're going to uh, to try and take this location and uh, get it back into a a functioning repeater site again. So uh, we're going to uh, cover the uh, the project. Uh, this is going to be kind of a new series for us, uh, kind of similar to what we did for the comms trailer. So. Um, if you see this footage, it means we made it back out alive, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this back into a functioning repeater site again. But man, I can tell you, it's pretty creepy out here. And being in Kentucky, I might even hear a few banjos in the background. Hello, folks. This is Chris KY4CKP, and. Uh, we're coming at you today with um, a new video and, uh, and the start of a new series, actually, uh, on our, uh, our repeater location here. And uh, uh, just wanted to have a little fun with that introduction. It's not quite uh, Halloween yet, but uh, just want to have some fun with that um, because the location, uh, we haven't been up here in, you know, now I guess it, it's been at least nine or ten months something like that it, it's it's not a year but I don't think but but it's been a good while but primarily uh, during spring and of course summertime here the you know big growing time in a state like Kentucky and it doesn't take long for things to get very overgrown and uh, and the location always had some some challenges to it it's on a pretty high uh, knob uh, a small mountain large hill whatever you want to call it and it's on a 140 foot tower so it's a it's actually a great location in fact there's a, a, a giant commercial tower uh, maybe 200 yards away uh, from from this tower where we've been located uh, and there's been activities located here for a long time but uh, this property changed ownership went from father to son and and with everything else going on this year it's taken us a while to uh, truly really get back kind of in here and make sure we had uh, you know our lease agreement you know back in place and uh, and those kinds of things and uh, the property you can see it, there is a lot of trash around the property um, the, the the new owner uh, has already begun to clean up the the property uh, I think he's already um, contracted and gotten rid of eight or ten vehicles that were let's just say stored out here uh, there's a few more vehicles but some of those they actually want to keep but they're going to move them to some new locations uh, and he's going to work on cleaning up a lot of this trash that we do see around the, uh, the location and we're going out in fact um, this coming Saturday we're going to have a special work day and a few of us are going to go out there we're going to take a chainsaw uh, weed eater some heavy duty uh, weed killer and we're going to do some work cleaning up the uh, the property and, and the entrances and exits uh, to the property to uh, to prepare for uh, you know getting back out here and uh, the um, the shack that you see the the, the kind of uh, kind of green building uh, it's a Vietnam War era communications trailer military communications uh, trailer but uh, it's just it's just uh, getting old <laughs> it it's uh, served its time <laughs> uh, served its uh, its uh, to society and uh, and we're going to be putting a brand new building out here. So uh, it's the same uh, uh, building style that we have for the main repeater site, which is a insulated style of building, uh, eight foot by eight foot, uh, which is pretty much all we need. It's going to be a, a nice new. It's not going to leak. It's insulated. Um, you know, it's going to be more secure. So we have that. We're going to be getting that. Uh, I think this week, maybe this week or next week, it's going to get delivered initially to our headquarters, uh, Elcara. Worldwide headquarters, and we're going to be putting in electrical into it. Uh, it's just a nice, fresh, brand new building, so we're going to be putting electrical into it. Uh, they cut out a hole for an AC unit, so we're going to be 
mounting an AC unit in there, putting in a heater unit and a, a thermostat system. Uh, it's going to be very similar in, in some ways to what we have at our main repeater site. And uh, with the, the heater and the AC uh, throughout the year, if it's too hot, the AC kicks on. If it gets a little too cold, the heater kicks on, which helps keep the, the equipment you know, in a more comfortable range. Uh, and then also whenever us humans are out there doing doing maintenance and work, uh, you know, we can have heat or, uh, or air conditioning uh, as well. So we're going to get a nice new building out there and get it all uh, wired up and ready to go. And we'll get it moved up there. And we'll be documenting uh, all those efforts as well. Now the tower that's that's out here, and we, and we saw it in the in that opening video, but we're going to see it again here. Uh, again, it's a nice 140 foot tower, and it's a, it's a pretty good sized hill that we're on. In fact, there's a uh, you almost saw it right there. There's a, a big commercial tower, or uh, uh, yeah, tower um, from where our location is, about maybe 200 yards, maybe maybe not even that that far. Uh, and I think it's a 200 foot tower. It, it's taller than ours, uh, definitely. And um, and that's similar to where our other repeater site is. Again, that's a pretty good size size knob as well. And that's a 100 foot tower we have there. Well, there's a, a real big. Uh, commercial tower there. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't think it's a thousand foot, but it's it's a big tower over there because it's one of the taller hills in the area and it's got commercial services and things on it. So, um, you know, part of the work we're going to have to do here, again, we're going to be cleaning up uh, a lot of the vegetation uh, this next time we go out there. I don't know how much else we'll get into. Uh, part of that will depend if the property owner has, has been able to do any of the work uh, he's wanting to do yet. But at some point, we're also going to be getting on the tower again. You can see this really thick, heavy-duty hard line, that big roll of it, and there's some going up the tower. None of that's used anymore, and there's a number of, of cables that are going up that, that tower that aren't used. And there's also a number of antennas on the tower that aren't used anymore. So uh, we're going to be pulling old equipment and, and cabling and things off as we're able to, uh, double-checking what's up there, replacing any antennas that may need to get replaced up there or you know maybe they need repair. Um, and we're going to be getting, um, uh, looks like two meters back out there and probably, uh, we may also be getting six meters, 10 meters, maybe a D star unit at some point it might take just a little time to get one of those, uh, put together and programmed. We just put a, a, a D star unit in our main location and, uh, folks are enjoying that. So, uh, we're going to be getting a, a lot of good utilization out of this, this tower. Again, it's, it's a good distance from our primary site. And so it definitely serves a part of the community and, and some of our membership that uh, that's far enough away that it's it's difficult for them with the you know with these hills in in central Kentucky, you know it's difficult sometimes for for folks to reach our main site because it is a good distance away. This is at least 20 or 30 miles away, I would say. So uh, it and it'll probably even reach slightly into Tennessee uh, somewhat. So uh, we're excited to get back out here and uh, and get this work going and, and get the new shack set up get the services going again because people used them really quite a bit and uh, and we want to uh, provide those you know for folks uh, once again so uh, it expands our capabilities and it, and it gives uh, our members and, and uh, even non-members you know some extra capacity out there because it is a, a fairly rural area um, across the lake there from where we are it's you know it's a pretty big lake so we just want to bring this to you. This is going to be a new series for us, and uh, we're going to be documenting, uh, you know, getting the new building, putting the wiring and so forth in the new building, getting it up to the site, uh, the work we do on the tower and the antennas, and uh, and getting all these new services uh, put back in place. So we just want to have some fun there with that opening, because uh, it is <laughs> it is a, a, a little bit uh, sad up there right now. But uh, like I say, we'll uh, we're going to attack a lot of that uh, this coming weekend. And, uh, and we'll get that, uh, that location whipped into shape, get those services running again, and, uh, and folks will be able to, uh, to use that and enjoy that. So uh, we'll be documenting that process. So uh, like I say, we'll be bringing you these, this new series of videos. We're, we're not done with the, uh, the MCOM trailer. We've done a lot of good work on it, and we're about to get our graphics on it. And so that'll be uh, an upcoming uh, big reveal for our membership. But we'll, of course, be documenting that, uh, you know, with uh, videos and pictures on our social media as well. We're, we're very excited about that. In fact, it's going in uh, this weekend, this Sunday, and we should have it back about Wednesday. And we've got our, uh, our uh, club uh, uh, fish fry uh, the next Saturday. And there's also a Kentucky 
Parks on the Air event happening that same weekend. So we're hoping to reveal, have the big reveal for our, our membership at our fish fry and uh, go to one of the nearby parks and do some POTA activations uh, with a trailer with the new graphics on it. So uh, we'll be documenting that as well. So that's pretty much it for this one. We just want to bring this to you. We want to have a little bit of fun with that. Uh, we were talking about it. We want to have some fun with that little opening sequence there, even though it's not quite Halloween yet. Uh, but we'll wrap it up. This is Chris, KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association 73.